Hey everybody, this is not an official episode of Creativity Under Pressure, but I was thinking about the fact that I have done all of these Creativity Under Pressure videos and that I do this whole Creativity Under Pressure lecture and this morning I found myself completely incapable of working and that has been the case since maybe last week. I've been doing like really tiny things, but as far as being able to write, I just haven't been able to do it. And I was thinking that what good are my lectures and what good are the ideas that I have if I'm not able to? implement them for myself. And then I thought, this is an extraordinary time. It is not just the usual pressure that people, especially black creatives, especially black women creatives are dealing with. There's the pandemic and all of that pressure then there's on top of that the fact that it disproportionately negatively impacts black and brown people. There's the ongoing police violence and how that disproportionately affects black and brown people. There's how uh, Black Lives Matter movements always seem to surround men who have been affected and often leave out the women who have been affected, despite the fact that Black Lives Matter was started by three black women. Um, and then, of course, in the last few days, there's been the publishing of Hate Me hashtag started by Ellen McKinney, which we all new, but which is soul crushing to see in black and white. So it is an extraordinary time. It is not just a pressure filled time. It is an extraordinarily crushing time to try to do anything creative. And I normally can push through most things. The last few days, I just can't. The most I've been able to do is respond to some emails, send out some emails. That's about it. I can I feel pressure on my shoulders constantly, like in my neck, on my shoulders, in my upper back, constantly. And of course, this is the work of racism, right? It is to prevent you from being able to do your work, your creative work. Uh, it distracts you from being able to create and pushes you further back from people who don't have these kinds of pressures to worry about. But here's the thing. You can't do good work if you're broken. You can't. So for the sake of the long game, and it is a long game, you're going to have to take a step back if you are feeling as broken as I feel. Take a step back, take a nap, take a walk. I've been doing other things. I've been doing laundry and mopping the floors and that feels extremely satisfying to me. You have to take a step back. You can be creative if you're broken. Nothing good 
is going to come out of you trying to push yourself to your limits because the long and the short of it is that we need you here we need your story and we need your voice you can't you can't produce if you don't take care of yourself